Hello everyone, here I have an Xbox One S and it has the You're symptoms, you just press the power button and it immediately turns off. So there are, the main uh, problem with this is usually it's a problem with the motherboard. So I'll just uh, be taking this apart and there are these MOSFETs inside that usually short out there. So uh, I'll be showing you all the details in my diagnostic on this board and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get your board up and running. So on first inspection, it looked like the motherboard didn't have any major issue. I put it back, uh, the power button just to turn on because uh, I disconnected the CD drive and hard drive seeing if that would fix it, but it, the fan spins uh, still the same issue. The mainly the MOSFETs go bad on the main 12 volt rail. So just using your multimeter in in uh, continuity mode, just put the them at the top there and see if they have a short. If not, then um, it could be some other problem. But I'll show you how to figure out about these MOSFETs. This would be the the drain, the source, and then the gate. It'll be that pin four. The, the fourth one there. So using your multimeter in continuity mode, in diode of a forward diode mode, put the negative to the gate and the positive one to the source, and you should measure 0 0.6 volts forward voltage. Uh, I'm doing that on this one here, and it's reading that, so this one will be good. And just make sure that the gate is not shorted to ground because that would indicate a, a faulty MOSFET. Go down through the whole row, there are about four, and doing the same thing, just testing out the gate to the, the source there and uh, see if you get uh, a short or anything like that, then you'd have to replace it. This board's good. And I know it's good is because now I can test out these voltages just using uh, my leads here and any coil will be an output of a, a voltage rail. So I'm measuring 5 volt, that's the USB rail there. There's a other, there's a other big coil here and I'm measuring 3.3 .3, so that's good. At the top up here, I'm measuring the 12 volt main power rail, so that's good. And at the top right uh, up here, I'm measuring 12 volts, so that's fine. And then at the very bottom, anywhere you have these MOSFETs, you want to make sure that the MOSFETs also has some voltage there. So at the very, at the drain, I'm measuring 12 volts, so that's fine. On the right hand side, there is some more MOSFETs here. You don't measure any voltage on this coils because this one goes to the RAM. And its voltage would be about 1.2 volts, I'm figuring. And it won't turn on until you turn on the machine, but there seems to be that there's an issue with the main CPU because it automatically turns off. And uh, I tried to heat up this board just to make sure that it wasn't a connection problem, but it still didn't work. But all the voltages are fine, and I'm not full, uh, finding any shorts on any of the power rails. So it's one of the ICs that are bad. It's probably the, either the CPU or the RAM. But uh, down here we have we have a couple MOSFETs here, the, and the top guy should measure 12 volts. And they are in pairs because they connect to VCC at the top and then it will also be able to switch off. You can see the 12 volts there. It'll be able to switch off by connecting the bottom one to ground. Um, so there's the RAM IC. So one of these RAM ICs could be bad too as well because I injected some voltage into that power coil and these were heating up as well. I know that the they are meant for low voltage, about 1.2 voltage, but uh, the machine still has an issue about turning on. 
I'll just show you a quick little diagnostic that you guys can do as well. So on these very small MOSFETs, they're MP and power uh, MOSFETs. And I'm just putting it into continuity mode here. And it's open. I flip them around and I'm measuring 44 ohms. And that is basically measuring across the capacitor there on the CPU line, which is normal. So that's as far as I can go with this machine. If anyone knows uh, more details, you can put it in the comments below. And if you're interested in electronics and want to subscribe, that'd be great. See you in the next video.